It's just released video that sheds new light on a notorious crime. The hijacking of an airplane by the baggage handler. I've played video games before, so I, uh, you know, I know what I'm doing a little bit. Richard Russell worked at the Seattle Tacoma Airport. The new video shows him going through security wearing a t-shirt that reads, The Sky's No Limit. Then he tows an empty Alaska Airlines 70-seater plane and positions it to face the runway. But look what happens when he unhitches the tow line. The plane starts moving forward with no one at the controls. Incredibly, Russell runs alongside, gets the door to open, runs up the steps, and shuts the door behind him. Five minutes later, he takes off. I found myself in a bit of a predicament. I'm in the air right now. Did you just take off? Yeah. And you're not supposed to be on that aircraft? Uh, no. What followed was a homeland security nightmare. Russell flew the plane around Seattle for an hour, even doing aerobatics. National Guard fighter jets were scrambled in fear that terrorists were on board. Russell's communication with air traffic control was a forecast of what was about to happen. I wouldn't know how to land it. I wasn't really planning on landing it. The 2018 drama ended when Russell crashed the plane onto a remote island, killing himself. Several years ago, Russell posted video of his workday as a baggage handler. Look at all them bags. Ooh, a purple one. Outwardly, he and his wife seemed happy, but he was fighting inner demons, as he revealed in this haunting exchange with air traffic control. Just a broken guy. Got a few screws loose, I guess. Never really knew it until now. 